Hallelujah. And so I sit back there and I say, eh, you know, hallelujah. Oh God, give me a pure heart and a pure mind. Renew my mind. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I first got the Holy Ghost, hey man, everybody was everybody was good. Everything is beautiful in its own way. Hallelujah. There weren't no bad people in the church when I got the Holy Ghost. Now the preacher might have known. Hallelujah. But I didn't know. Pray. I just love everybody. So we need to get back. And renew ourselves, renew our minds sometimes. Even though we may know facts and know things, but God is able to anoint our minds and give us a fresh mind and a new mind to where they must get eyes on. Hallelujah. They don't bother us so much. Praise God. So much so that we can't even praise God. But hallelujah. He can liberate our minds from those issues. To where we can lift up holy hands without wrath and without doubting. And we can dance in the Lord and we can praise God because we don't care. Hallelujah. Amen. It's me and Jesus today. I'm serving the Lord. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, this don't mean that the Lord's not watching. Hallelujah. Amen. Because he's got his eye on the sparrow. He knows exactly where you are and where I am. Amen. I'm preaching here. I'll be through here just a little bit. But we need to find that place. Where the purity of our mind yes. and our spirit allows us to be uninhibited to embrace Jesus. Amen. 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 So I put my arms around my Jesus and the Holy Ghost. And no faults can penetrate me to think any evil. Hallelujah. And we sort of blend in as one. We kind of just melt together in each other's embrace. And there is this oneness. We become like Jesus. To be like Jesus. And we spend those precious moments in prayer embracing Jesus. And His character begins to flood into us. And we walk away as what they said about the apostles when they saw them they said, these people have been with Jesus. Praise God. Jesus is waiting on you. Jesus is waiting on you today. He's waiting on all of us. You know why? I've often wondered why God would go to the trouble to make a world, to make a cosmos, and to all the chaos and everything that goes on, the sin, fighting the light, and casting the devil out of hell. Why did he go to all that trouble? Hello? Yes, Lord. Is that you? Okay. All right. And did I Okay, it does. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, I was just no mission. Okay, I took off. I love <laughs> Praise the Lord. I think this is important, evidently. So why did God go to all the trouble to make all this 
And one day I was reading the Word of God, it just came to me like a light from dawn, you know. And, and the, the, Bible, the Bible defines God in one word. In the epistles of John. John who was the one that leaned on his breast. The John who was the beloved. Amen. He described God in one word. You know what that word is? God is love. Now a lot of people have tried to define what love is to their own hurt because they make it something that is not. But what made me come to that conclusion was that love cannot be love unless it has something else to express itself to. Can you imagine yourself being loved and I want to love, I want to love, I want to show my love, but there's nothing to show my love. <laughs> Thank God I got a lot of brothers and sisters, they like to come and give me hugs. Well, I accept that as love, okay? It, but God, because of his innate and basic characteristic love, created creation. So that he could express his love. And so he came to redeem. He made a plan that included the love of love. That he would lay down his life for his friends. And for Jesus. Now, God doesn't like loneliness. I don't like loneliness. God doesn't like loneliness. Praise God. And so, He's reaching out to us to love Him back. He's reaching out for you to become His child, to become His love affair, to become a part of His bride. Amen. And it's a wonderful place to be. Now, in Joel chapter 2, verse 1, it says this. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion, and sound an alarm on my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. Verse 15. Blow the trumpet in Zion. Sanctify a fast. Call a solemn assembly. Gather the people. Sanctify the congregation. Assemble the elders. Gather the children and those that suck the breast. Let the bridegroom go forth of his chamber and the bride out of her closet. Let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep between the porch and the altar. And let them say, Spare thy people, O Lord, and give not thine heritage to reproach, that the heathen should rule over them. Wherefore should they say among the people, Where is their God? <laughs> Sound the trumpet. Amen. Today, the church needs to raise a banner. Hallelujah. We need a slogan to go forward. Gather the people.
ready, my people. Get ready, my people. Get alert. This time, the sound of trumpet inside. Gather the people. Sanctify the congregation. Assemble the elders. Gather the children and let the bridegroom go forth from his chamber and the bride out of her closet. And let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep between the porch and the altar. And let them say, Spare the Lord, thy people, O Lord, and give not thine heritage to reproach that the heathen should rule over them. Wherefore should they say among the people, Where is their God? Where is your God? Where is our God? Where is our Lord? Where is our Lord? Where is our Lord? We read in the scriptures where David, when he was bringing back the Ark of the Covenant into Israel, that he got his orchestra and he got his singers together and he had them going before the Ark. Hallelujah. Playing and blowing their trumpets. And the singers were singing. Hallelujah. Do you know their song? I know the song around the throne is Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God Almighty, which was, is, and is to come. For the earth is full of your glory. Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God Almighty. The creatures in heaven cease not day and night to sing this song or to shout this anthem. Hallelujah. Do you have an anthem today? Do we have an anthem today? Do we have a song to sing? And then they brought in the ark on the shoulders of the priest. Solomon, when he dedicated the temple, again, he organized his singers. Hallelujah. He organized his musicians. And they were to be trained and to play skillfully before the Lord. And then they brought in the Ark of the Covenant. And he began to pray. And that's where we read about the Shekinah glory of God filled the house. Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 Can we so focus ourselves? Amen. We're going forward. We're going forward. We're racing after the prize of the high calling. We are going to commit ourselves to be renewed in the Spirit. We are going to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost, everybody. We're going to get it again. Hallelujah. We are going to be filled with the Holy Ghost. I see this church, hallelujah, going forth uh, as an army with banners. Uh, I see this church going forth uh, as an army with banners. Hallelujah. Praise God. We have spoken to you in sincerity and solemnity. Hallelujah. But I'm going to tell you what, this church is a mighty church. Uh, this church is the church of Jesus Christ. Uh, this church is a witness in the world. This church is a witness to one God, one Lord, one faith, one baptism. Hallelujah. We have got evangelists. We have got evangelists. We have got prophets. We've got pastors. We've got hallelujah. We've got singers. Praise God. Hallelujah. Prayer warriors, weepers. Hallelujah. Look out, Athens. Look out, world. Look out, devil. Here comes. Amen. The apostolics of the crossroads church. Hallelujah. Look out because we're going forward in power and in demonstration of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Raise up your banner. Raise up your crowd. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. 
Get ready. Get ready. There's anointing. There is an anointing moving over the congregation. Hallelujah. What is your cry? What is your anthem? You feel the anointing coming. It's coming. Hallelujah. Amen. You Holy Ghost, you should be feeling what is moving right now. Get ready. God is pouring on you. God is speaking to you right now. Hallelujah. Amen. You must do what the Holy Ghost says for you to do. You must obey the Holy Ghost at this moment. You must yield yourself to the Holy Ghost. This is a very critical time. This is a moment. This is a moment. This is a moment. Hallelujah. Praise God. Jesus is testing. Jesus is looking. Hallelujah. Where is your heart? Where is your heart? Hallelujah. Where is your heart? Praise God. Is your heart in Sodom and Gomorrah? Or is your heart on the mountain tops? Where is your heart today? Is your heart with Israel? Is your heart with David? Is your heart, hallelujah, with Solomon? Is your heart, praise God, with Jesus Christ? Is your heart with the apostles? Come out from among them. Come out from among them and be shepherds, saith the Lord of hosts. Come out and be ye holy, for I am holy. Hallelujah. Lift up your voice in Zion. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Glory, 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 glory. Let's stand together. Oh, Shanta, oh, Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Glory, oh, Shanta, oh, Lord, 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 oh, Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. 